Hello my friends, welcome to another Lissa video. So today I want to announce that I want to try and do something called 52 to a new you. Now I know a lot of people can't go cold turkey raw vegan overnight, so I wanted to make um, a new series for my YouTube channel. I will have it ongoing as a playlist, but I'm going to do once a week a video about one little thing that you can do in your life to improve your diet or your health. Um, and I will include mental things and stuff like that. So hopefully it can help somebody somewhere, anywhere with any ideas. Uh, there will be 52, if I can come up with 52, different little things that you can add per week uh, to do. And I'll have like a little piece of homework for you to do for the whole week and beyond because it'll be a new change for yourself. So I hope that everybody will like that. I will start that soon with my next video. But for this video, I want to kind of encompass all of that into one about how I became a raw vegan and how you could take the steps that you need to become vegan or raw vegan. Preferably raw or even mostly raw is the best. I personally believe the more raw foods you have in your life, the healthier you are. And I'm not saying, I mean, a lot of people are still gonna eat cooked food. It's very rare to get somebody who's a complete raw vegan, but trying to add more raw foods to your diet is my goal to get you guys to eat more healthy foods and to eliminate those things that are making you feel like crap. So I wanted to go over some uh, things that you can do if you want to transition or go cold turkey into a vegan or raw vegan lifestyle. The first thing that you need to do is to get inspired. So you're going to want to watch some documentaries, namely Earthlings, Cowspiracy, and Forks Over Knives. There's a bunch of other ones out there too, like Fed Up. Um, oh gosh, there's lots. I'm going to in the description put a link to all of the resources that I'm going to talk about in this video. So you're going to watch, want to watch those three videos and you're going to learn why we should be eating a plant-based or vegan diet um, and you're going to, from those movies, you're going to formulate your reasons why you want to change your lifestyle and why you want to become healthy. So you're going to find your reasons and my reasons, as I've said in many, many videos, Number one, for the animals. Number two, for the planet. Number three, for my health. And number four, to be an example to those around me. You'll want to find out your personal reasons for doing this. And you're gonna wanna tell yourself every single morning when you wake up why you are vegan or raw vegan. You want to wake up and say, I am a raw vegan and these are my reasons and go over them in your head and really indoctrinate yourself with your reasons why, because they're important to you. There's reason why you wanna change. So you gotta tell yourself every day why you want to change. Um, the second step is that if you are, you can go cold turkey. I mean, I did, no problem. Well, <laughs> I did have cravings. I had to deal with a lot of mental stuff um, with that, but I did go cold turkey. But if you need to transition slower, um, you can, do it either weekly or monthly or set dates in your cal calendar because if you are like me and you use the word moderation to justify eating things you know you shouldn't anyways, you can also use the word transition to also justify eating things that you know you shouldn't. So make set dates like uh, for example January 1st to the February 1st you're giving up all flesh for example so during that month you're going to look for new things that you can replace those calories with other vegan foods um, preferably raw of course um, so for the first month you give up meat maybe the second month then you move over to dairy give up all dairy um, cheese yogurt all of that and then maybe the third month you give up eggs and you slowly move forward in there and if you do eventually want to become a raw vegan, maybe the fourth, fifth or sixth month you 
give up cooked food. Or maybe you need to do that slower. Maybe you need to give up grains first and then maybe you need to give up potatoes. But if that is your goal to be a raw vegan, then you will need to set goals and set dates when you're going to eliminate those foods. So that's the second step. If you need to transition, set dates and goals of when you are going to change. Because if you don't, you run the risk of using the word transition for the rest of your life. And those foods can continue to be addicting. So you can keep, you end up keep eating them. So which is what you don't want to do. So the third is to try new things. You're going to want to, if you're just going vegan, you're going to want to try other vegan foods and you're going to want to explore uh, your natural section in your grocery store. And actually that's funny. It made me think of a meme that I saw that said, um, if there's a natural section in your grocery store, what does that say about the rest of the store? So we really got to think about what we're putting in our bodies and we should be focusing on fresh produce, fresh fruit and vegetables, which is what we are made to eat and we can eat a ton of it and get all of our nutrition. As you can see with me, I am thriving as a raw vegan and I know a lot of people say that not everyone can and it's true, not everyone can, but if you want to have the best health possible and it works for you, then raw vegan is the best, I personally believe. So the fourth thing you want to learn, 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 learn. So get some books. I highly recommend The China Study. Um, I highly recommend Proteinaholic by Dr. Garth Davis. Oh, the kitty came to see me. <laughs> uh, I highly recommend How Not to Die by Dr. Michael Greger. And Michael Greger has a website called nutritionfacts.org so you can find all sorts of vegan science-based nutrition on his website. And it's all free and he's got tons of videos. I really enjoy listening to him. So he's a really good resource for vegan nutrition. Um, and if you want to do raw, I highly recommend the 80-10-10 diet by Doug Graham. That is what I follow. Uh, not to a T because I still do the garlic and spices and stuff. As I've said in many videos, I typically do it mainly for the uh, ratio. So the 80-10-10, the 80% carbs, 10% protein, and 10% fats. Which is a perfect ratio for me and I highly recommend it if you want to do raw that is probably the way to go I've done the high fat versions and I just can't stick to them I fall off the wagon and it just it doesn't work for me so the 80 10 10 was definitely better because I was eating a lot of calories from fruits and vegetables and I felt more satiated and my cravings went away and my skin improved and everything because of the hydration on a high carb low fat raw vegan diet so um, the next one would be to make sure that you're getting your nutrition and your supplements and your energy. Uh, you'll need to eat more calories than you might be used to because you're cutting out animal products and if you're doing raw, you're cutting out um, all the potatoes and grains and all of that kind of stuff. So you're going to need to replace them with the raw fruit and vegetable calories. That's very, very, very important. Most people who do transition over aren't eating enough and then they crave and then they say they're hungry all the time. You just got to keep eating the fruits and vegetables to get that done. Um, and supplements. Uh, I have a video that I made about B12 and vitamin D. I do not believe that they are diet sourced vitamins. They are environment sourced vitamins. We're supposed to get the vitamin B12 from a bacteria that is in soil, um, mountain springs, and basically if you're in the wild you have access to that bacteria but because we live in cities and houses and clean stuff and we like sanitized water which is great but we've traded all of that for a B12 deficiency so it's environmental plus vitamin D is from the sun so if you live north like I do or you don't get out enough you will need to supplement that one. Also, um, plus, as you know, um, D is added to milks and D is added to a lot of foods. So it's actually not necessarily high in animal products and they actually do pump farmed animals with B12 because they aren't getting access to it either. So when we think that we're getting our B12 from our meat, we are actually getting it indirectly from a supplement because those animals aren't actually making it either, which is sad, but okay. The next step, find recipes that you love. Find some special recipes that you absolutely love and that are really easy to make. 
Um, I've got a ton on my on my YouTube channel that I use for lazy days or in the beginning when I really felt like I was craving something I would make um, you know I you got to save these recipes for the times when you feel craving or you're lazy because when you're lazy or craving you'll eat almost anything so if you have a backup if you have a recipe that you know that you can make really quick and you love make it and make it and eat it I always fall back on fruit because that's really simple and easy I'll just grab some bananas and eat them but if you do need specific recipes find a bunch and write them down and have them readily available always have the ingredients available so that you can just make it when you're lazy when you come home from a really long day at work or and also find restaurants restaurants that you know that you you can eat at vegan restaurants uh, maybe that have your favorite meal if you need to pick up something really quick you know you can go there and you know you can get something that you can have so just make sure that you have like a list and a backup plan if you do feel like you're craving something or you need something again I always fall back on fruit but it's very smart to have some recipes on hand I mean even as a standard American diet eater I would always have certain things in the freezer that I could just throw in the oven so Again, you just got to find those recipes that really resonate with you and that you absolutely love and save them for those days. Um, join groups on Facebook, join forums. Um, I know a lot of them can have some pretty extreme views. Uh, take things with grains of salt, but you can go online and find groups and stuff for support. You can follow people on Facebook like me. Um, there's a lot of people online that are doing vegan and raw vegan diets that you can follow and ask questions. Hopefully that can help you feel a little bit more supported, especially if you have family that doesn't support you. Remember that you're doing this for you and you need to do this because you want to get healthier and you're going to be an example to those around you. So you got to stick to that. But yes, support is very important and you can find it online. There's a lot of groups and stuff that you can join. And again, um, take things with a grain of salt. If things get more drama driven, um, just scroll by and leave it alone. That's my two cents for that. Um, if you fail, it's not the end of the world. Um, Everybody will at some point possibly fall off, but you only actually fail if you stop trying. So mistakes happen. Um, pick yourself up the next day. Tell yourself your reasons. Um, go to your fridge. Go to your, your recipes that I just told you to get and work on that and get up and, you know, eat your fruit, drink your water and do those things and tell yourself you're okay because if you stop and you move back to where you were, then that is a fail. But you don't fail just by making a little mistake. So keep going. Every single day you can make those choices to become a better you. Um, clean your cupboards out. Clean your cupboards out and seriously give away what you're never going to use again. Give away what you can. Give to neighbors. Give to friends if you want to. Otherwise throw it out because if you have it in the house and you feel like you need to finish eating it, it's just going to cause more problems because you're going to feel guilty. You're going to need to eat it. Just throw it away. I went through my cupboards. I gave a lot to the food bank and I threw a lot of open stuff away that I was never going to eat again. And it felt really good to clean my cupboards. And if you have family that still eat cooked food, maybe designate yourself special cupboards just for you to have your raw foods in. Designate shelves in the fridge and just imagine that those cupboards and shelves that have the foods that you can't eat are just not accessible to you. They just aren't your food, so you can't eat them. Um, let's see. Well, you have to work on releasing your attachments to certain foods. If you have issues with certain things, especially cooked food, it can be very difficult to let those go. Um, work with your mind about releasing those foods and telling yourself that they're no longer something that you want to eat. Um, I pretend that they're not food. Uh, you can do whatever you need to do as long as you are eating in abundance and getting your nutrition in, which is very, very important. You don't want to alienate yourself from 
food in you but you want to focus on the food that you can have and the abundance that you can have because if you're eating a raw vegan diet you can eat a huge variety of food there's tons of stuff you can eat and you can get a lot of calories and a lot of nutrition on a raw vegan diet you just have to eat and make sure that you hunt down the variety and make sure that you get those foods um then you want to go shopping you want to stick to lots of fruit, lots of vegetables, a little bit of nuts and seeds, and herbs and spices. If you're going to do that, that's what I did. And again, if you're doing the cooked thing, that's not my uh, area where I'm going to talk about because that's not what I do. But if you do feel you need to, that's your space. Um, just find some vegan foods. It's best if you're going to do um, like steamed veggies or something like that. But again, that's not my thing, so I'm not going to talk about it. But if you're doing raw, you want to do as many fruits and vegetables as you can. Stay away from the aisles. Don't get any packaged stuff. Uh, don't even get any packaged dressings. You can make your own raw vegan dressings. Uh, I've got, again, tons on my YouTube channel, and Tani Raw has tons. Uh, Christina has tons. There's lots of raw vegans. You can Google raw vegan dressing and tons will come up. So there's plenty of options out there for you to find things that are not processed and not in packages and not pasteurized. And then you want to just focus on your abundance. You want to focus on your health. You want to focus on all the positive things of why you're changing and stop focusing on the negative. Stop focusing on the things you can't have anymore. Stop focusing on how you felt before. Start focusing on feeling beautiful and healthy and fit and vibrant and full of energy. Focus on that and it'll help drive you to stick to your journey and stay on the path. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit long, but I wanted to let you guys have a little bit insight into how I did it and how you can do it. So hopefully that helps and hopefully that the 52 to a new you will help as well. Um, I'll probably post the first one on New Year's Day and then um, every day, every week after that. So hope you guys like this video. Uh, click like if you did and subscribe to my channel. You can find me on Facebook at... Um, <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and you food all at Raw Food Romance. Uh, and until the next video, guys, I hope you guys have an awesome New Year's Eve and a great New Year's Day and a wonderful 2016. So here's to you. Love you all and fruit on.